Franking, after the photographic style of Robert Frank, requires you to select your details sparingly and use them suggestively rather than blatantly. The critical element in franking is to choose an unexpected perspective from which you reveal your message, an angle that puts your reader directly in the scene. Come, see the world as Robert Frank saw it. Ernest Hemingway wrote as Robert Frank photographed. He explained, I always try to write on the principle of the iceberg. There are seven-eighths of it under water for every part that shows. Anything you know you can eliminate, and it only strengthens your iceberg. It is the part of the iceberg that doesn't show. Exercises 16 and 17 will help you start thinking in Robert Frank terms. Read with me a 60-second radio advertisement that uses the technique of franking to brilliant advantage. You are standing in the snow five and one-half miles above sea level, gazing at the horizon hundreds of miles away. Life here is simple. You live or you die. No compromises, no whining, no second chances. This is a place constantly ravaged by wind and storm, where every ragged breath is an accomplishment. You stand on the uppermost pinnacle of the earth, this is the mountain they call Everest. Yesterday, it was considered unbeatable, but that was yesterday. As Edmund Hillary surveyed the horizon from the peak of Mount Everest, he monitored the time on a wristwatch that had been specifically designed to withstand the fury of the world's most angry mountain. Rolex believed Sir Edmund would conquer the mountain, and especially for him, they created the Rolex Explorer. In every life, there is a Mount Everest to be conquered. When you have conquered yours, you'll find your Rolex waiting patiently for you to come and pick it up at Justice Jewelers, your official Rolex jeweler on Highway 65 at Battlefield Road. I'm Woody Justice, and I've got a Rolex for you. Exercises 18 and 19 ask you to apply the principles of franking to copy that might be considered for your website. To frank effectively, you must choose a revealing angle, put the reader on the scene, Select your details carefully, including only what's interesting, and barely that, and put the known under water. Never tell the reader something he already knows or can figure out for himself. To apply any one of these techniques across the board would defeat the purpose of using it in the first place. Frosting, writing Monet, franking, and seussing are seasonings you can use to, t to stimulate the appetite of your dogs and get them salivating. These techniques have enormous value in headings, subheadings, subject lines, introductory paragraphs that set the stage, and even in individual emails and email campaigns. Choose the techniques that make sense, then let your imagination run free. Use exercise 22 to help you get started.